make a couple of sacks today for you. Just what was working? Uh, I'm sure it helps when the quarterback bobbles the ball and gives you a little more time, but just what was working pass rush-wise for you guys to get back there? Um, we knew that he, he was going to escape the pocket. We knew he was a dangerous quarterback. You know, he's a really good quarterback. Um, I think Coach Jay brought a good plan in there for, for us to contain him. Uh, so, you know, we just executed the plan and it worked. Nick, what did Hunter <clears throat> Waller's return do for this defense? Oh, it was massive. I mean, you see, he gets a pick. You know, first came back, he was out there making hits all over the field, tackles. Um, you know, Hunter's a great player. Um, and anytime you get one a guy like Hunter back, I mean, it's nothing but beneficial for you. Does he allow you guys to be more versatile in the secondary with how you get going? Yeah, yeah. We actually have a play where uh, it's me and Hunter in there as outside linebackers, um, if you guys noticed that. Uh, so it was, it's pretty cool to have to have Hunter out there with us. When he has that, when he goes, like, when he's acting like that, too, does he have the role, like, in that 2 3 6 package of, of outside linebacker responsibilities, or, or how would you describe that role for him? Uh, I would say he's an outside linebacker. You know, we, we welcomed him we welcomed him to our brotherhood. You know, he's a grave digger now, so. So he's not part of the organization of like minded brothers? Yeah, he's, he's part time, though. Part, part time? <laughs> yeah, he's not fully vested yet, but he's part time. I'll give him a pass. Nick, Kamoy Latu's had a great season, like, a couple of big tackles today. What have you kind of seen in his development as he's grown with him? Uh, he's, he's getting more comfortable and more confident in his play, you know, and I think. That goes for a lot of guys, you know, the more reps you get, the, the more confident you get, you know, you, you see yourself making plays, you know, okay, like, I can really do this, um, but I'm not even surprised, man. I was trying to tell y'all before uh, the season started when he transferred here, like, oh, we got to steal, because uh, I knew he's he's been he's been about that since, since the day I met him, so I knew I knew what he brought to the table, and he fits right in uh, to what we do here at Wisconsin. Maryland's had a pretty explosive offense all season. I'm sure the rain contributed to some of the struggles, but why do you think you guys as a defense will be as effective as well as working? Um, I think it goes back to you know, the week of practice we had. You know, I think we had a great week of practice. Um, our communication was great, high energy. Uh, guys were rallying to the ball, you know, and the bye week too, you know, getting everybody rested. You know, obviously me, I could get healthy again. Um, and I think uh, we just had a great plan in there and we executed well. You know, everybody did their job, did their assignment. And the crazy thing was, like, we didn't even play our best football. So, I mean, I'm still waiting until we, we're, we're clicking on all cylinders. So. But I, it, it feels great to get it done. Nick, especially as a defensive player, do you like playing in these inclement weather games, these gritty, grinded out kind of games? Oh, I, I love it all. I, I don't care if it's 1,000 degrees or 2 degrees. I'm, I love it. You know, any chance I get to strap the helmet up and rep the W, I love it. Coach Leonard talked about how your confidence has really grown what are your impressions of how you're playing now or how you need to improve? I mean, you're playing great, but, you know, coach has just seen an incremental improvement. Yeah, um, that means a lot <laughs> coming from Coach Leonard. Uh, but, yeah, obviously, uh, like I said earlier, just the more reps, the more playing time you get, the more confident you get, you make more plays. Um, and it gives not just me confidence, but the coach's confidence, my teammates' confidence. Um, and me, you know, they give they give confidence to me that when they call a play for me, like they know I'm gonna go out there and make it. You know, so for them to have that confidence in me gives me a lot of confidence myself. Um, but yeah, I, I, love, I love playing football. How much are you looking at these last few games now as a chance to make a case that Jim that Jim deserves this job for keeps? Is that something you're thinking about much? Oh, I mean, of course. You know, I think there's nobody more deserving than him. Uh, blows my mind that he's not the head coach yet. Um, I, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. I, I think he should be our head coach. It's, I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys can say the same. Nick, you obviously are such a great, talented pass rusher, but how much pride do you take in your run defense as well? Smaller outside linebacker, but you had a really good play early in the game. Uh, what, what kind of, take me through the process on that side of the ball. Yeah, um, obviously I love getting sacks. You know, that's a good feeling. But um, when I'm able to get in there, make a tackle, stick my head in there and hit something, I love doing that too. Uh, like you said, I mean, I kind of pride myself on that. Like, I'm not the big, I'm probably the smallest guy in the front seven. Uh, I just go out there and my dad always told me dynamite comes in small packages. So I, I take that with me. Maryland had the ball in plus territory right there at the start of the game after the punt. Y'all were able to keep them from scoring. Just how critical was that sequence for y'all to keep them from taking the lead early? Yeah, I think that that's huge. You know, it's a big momentum shift. Uh, that's a big uh, change. You know, offense was down. You know, they went, they, they couldn't, uh, 
get it. You know, they couldn't get it going. And for us to just go out there and do our thing, you know, and they, they rally off of that, you know. They see that we're playing hard and we're playing for them. So they go out there and they're like, we, we got to do something for the defense. Outside of that one drive to start the second half, rush defense, I think it was like 2.7 yards a carry. What were you guys doing so well up front to kind of stop them from getting to the edge and doing some of the things they like to do in the run game? Uh, like, I mean, communication was everything. You know, getting the front set, getting guys going in the right direction. Uh, I thought Rodas, Nunu, and, and James all did a great job. You know, uh, they held their gaps. Uh, JT, Chaney, Muma, they're all filling it. Uh, Torch came down, Hunter had some hits. Uh, Moy, you know, I think everybody was just uh, wanted to play very physical, and I think we accomplished that.